Hello everyone, it's August the 10th, 2021, and I'm back in the Wind River Range, and I've just started a six day backpacking trip with a friend. We started this trip at the Green River Lakes Trailhead and we're taking the uh, Highline Trail up the Green River. This section of the Highline Trail is also the CDT. It's just an incredible day. Crystal clear skies, the temperature's about 80 degrees. All right, we found a nice little campsite uh, on a little bit of a shelf overlooking the meadow and the Green River and Square Top. Just a really great campsite. Today's been uh, really nice. Clouded up a little bit this afternoon. Saw quite a few people, but not quite as many as I expected. My friend's dog was limping this morning, so uh, she's gonna stay at camp a little while longer, maybe later this afternoon, come along, or she may actually have to uh, walk back out and leave. But if she continues, there's a shorter loop that she can do, and maybe hopefully we'll meet up again on the fourth day. We had a really nice campsite last night. The temperature was in the mid 50s, wonderful evening. When I went to bed, the temperature was 53. Some cold air rolled in during the night and the low this morning was 36. 
It's a beautiful day today, partly cloudy, and I'm continuing up the Highline Trail. I'm gonna camp at Trail Creek Park, just below Green River Pass. Alright, I have found a nice little campsite in a small meadow near the junction of the CDT and the Clark Creek Trail. Water's about 300 feet away, but that's okay. I didn't see any day hikers today, but I saw lots of backpackers, 20 plus, although I did see one group of about 15. My friend's dog stopped limping early yesterday afternoon and she came on up to Trail Creek Park. Got there about 7.30 last night. Her dog is limping a little bit this morning so she's gonna take 
the Clark Creek Trail, which will be a little bit shorter. And then I'm gonna meet her day after tomorrow on the uh, Porcupine Trail. I'm going to continue on the CDT up over Green River Pass. Then I'm gonna take Double Top Mountain Trail and camp either at Palmer Lake or just before I get to Palmer Lake. This is the junction with the trail up to Vista Pass. After you get to Vista Pass, you can climb over Knapsack Coal and drop into Titcom Basin. All right, I'm wrapping up day three, and I believe I found a place to camp. There's a small lake in front of me and a little hill with some trees just up above it. Looks like it might be flat. I had intended to camp at Cutthroat Lakes, but there was about uh, four or five people camping there, and they had about the only spots available. So I didn't see too many people today, other than the people camped at Cutthroat Lakes. All I saw was a group of three backpackers and another couple backpacking. today is to 
continue on Double Top Mountain Trail, then Palmer Lake Trail to Porcupine Trail, meet my friend this evening and camp somewhere this side of Porcupine Pass. Last night was just incredible. Quarter of a moon low in the sky, but the Milky Way was still visible. Five shooting stars. The temperature was in the low 50s, and this morning the low was only 42. All right, I've made it to the junction of Porcupine Creek Trail, and it looks like my friend has already been here and left her initials. I never did see my friend. She must have decided to go on over the pass. There's only a few places she could have camped and I yelled, so. Anyway, she's an experienced back backpacker and a rock climber, so there's another campsite about 1.2 miles on the other side of the pass. I need some water and uh, that's probably two miles from here, so looks like a place over in the trees. I'm going to drop down to the creek, get some water, and see if I can make a campsite.
Today's plan is to continue the climb up the Porcupine Pass, descend the other side, which drops about 1,200 feet in the first mile, continue down Porcupine Creek, catch up with my friend, and hopefully find a nice flat campsite for tonight. It's always great to have a wet creek crossing right at the end of the day, especially when your last wet creek crossing was three days ago. I never did see my friend today. In fact, I didn't see anyone today. She must have decided she needed to get on out. I'm almost to a really nice flat campsite I stayed at a few years ago. It has been just a beautiful day, a little hot temperature in the low 80s. Well, I spoke too soon. I got to the campsite and my friend was already here. We actually didn't even talk about this campsite. Then I walked down to the creek to get some water and there was a day hiker there getting water.
a little thunder and light rain greeted us this morning. So it was breakfast in bed, self-service style. Today we're continuing uh, down Porcupine Trail. We've got a short hike back to the trailhead. It's a little smoky this morning. We've been really fortunate and uh, have had very little smoke, but it's uh, hazy today and you can actually smell the smoke. All right, I'm almost back to the trailhead, and this has been just another fabulous trip in the Wind River Range. Fantastic weather, only a little rain this morning, mostly clear skies, very little smoke, incredible scenery. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.